Yo boys, so today we are working on the Project LS for the Subaru and I'm gonna finally start stripping down the mow there now that I've cleaned it a little bit. I'm gonna honestly go in no specific order, just kind of start dumping parts off it to get the block stripped down so I can send the block to the machine shop. So, <clears throat> ugh. I'm gonna throw y'all on a time lapse of me tearing this thing apart, laying everything out, and then I'll clean it after I get the block separated because you know the block will be gone for a minute, so... Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it, boys. all right yo so i took a wire brush and i hit all the pistons quick just before i pull them out i'm gonna quick number them just i'm getting new ones but just in case something does happen or something or these end up being half decent pistons i'm going to mm, i'm going to uh yeah do that so yeah so i'm gonna scrub this last one this is how I've got everyone done with this one. I just want to show you guys how they looked before I <laughs> before I actually got done. I hit all these already. This is just quick with the wire brush. Well, not quick, honestly. To be honest, I've sat on each of these for like 10 minutes just trying to scrub them enough that I can actually get a number on there kind of clean and legibly. Get them half decently clean. So that's what I'm up to. I'm going to pull these bitches, this shit, and... Uh, Probably pull pistons after I uh, number them. So I'll probably flip the motor over after I pop some of this shit out and get to it. So, yeah. All right, guys, so here's the block with all of the pistons removed. As you can see, I removed some other things. I did some off-camera uh, work that I didn't really show you guys. Pulling this, that, and that, those. But, you know, it's just minor little stuff. Nothing really that I figured mattered to get on film. And my phone was charging, so time lapse is the battery, all right? Take it easy on me. But yeah, so here's my little number system for them. I have them marked on the top with Sharpies, so I think they're, they're good there too. But I just did that as well for positioning, since I'm going to clean them one by one down to like a nice metal in case I do want to reuse them. Because this stuff's a lot of money. I don't know, though. Piston number eight looked a little rough on that. Uh, so I don't know. You know, I probably won't. But yeah, so pistons are done. I'm kind of just debating where I want to start because I know I'm missing a few tools. I'm going to need to take some certain things off of this motor. I'm sure there's ways I can do it. I'm just kind of starting to think about it, see if I really want to take a stab at it tonight. I got some other stuff I want to do. Might be the end of this video for now. I don't know because I don't really want to clean that till I get to crank out. You know, I don't want to clean the cylinders or anything until I get to crank out. I still need to pull the crankshaft and the camshaft. I mean, I could spray this and let this sit a little bit, I guess. I'll do a... This is so satisfying. I'll do you guys a favor. I've got the flywheel off, too. I scrubbed I scrubbed the flywheel a little bit. So the flywheel is actually not in bad shape. I might reuse that. I don't know, though, because the clutch I get will probably end up coming with flywheel. But we'll see. So... It's just some really good degreaser, right? And it's got a... It, it just foams like shaving cream. It's satisfying. I just wanted you guys to see how satisfying this shit is to spray, I guess. Because I've kind of been cooking this motor with this shit. Just trying to, you know... Get off what I, Oops. Get off what I can... It's 
good stuff. And it, I mean, you can hear it literally dissolving everything. All the fucking nasty crime just oozing off. It's pretty, I don't know, I like it so far from using it. I mean, it made, kind of made the spots that I actually hit look pretty, pretty decent, not gonna lie. As you can, I mean, you can see I did this, I didn't do that. So, you know, it's good stuff. And I didn't really, I want to try and stay away from water because I've heard some bad things about water. So, so and, uh, yeah. So, that might be the end of this video. Catch you in the next one. I think that's going to be the plan because I don't want to make this video too long. I've been trying to stay under 10 minutes. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.